guys, welcome to Susie and Friends, where today we've got a brand new guest. This is Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Hi. How are you? Good. Awesome. Thanks for coming along today. You've got something pretty creative here on the table. What have you been making? Um, copper wire or wire people. Wow, well, they are copper wire and they are wire people. And they're wired. They're awesome. Well done. Which was your first bum? This one. Okay. This legs are quite. Oh, he is a bit wobbly. <laughs> But it's pretty cool. And it's just from twisting wire. Yeah. Oh, well, should we make another one? Yep. Wonderful. What do we need? Wire and pliers. Okay. How about we start with the wire? What have we got there? You've got some cut already, haven't you? Yep. How many pieces do you need? Four or five. Mm-hmm. So you've got one, two, three, four. Great. They're all about the same length? Yeah, but the longest one is for the... Um, the head in the body. Okay, so. so ah, and they're out about the length of your arm. I saw you measuring before. Okay, so that's the longest. That's longer. Whoa, that's even longer than my arm. Okay, so this must be the longest one? Yep. Great. This is the first piece you need. We'll move those others out of the way. Fabulous. And what do we do first? So you find the middle and then you just make it into a head shape. Mm-hmm. And then you get a bit a bit twisty. Yeah. Cool. So you're just twisting around and now you're twisting back up over the body, are you? Yep. Okay. Okay, so a nice round puku. Big chest, broad shoulders, lovely. And so you tuck those sharp ends down into the wire, do you? Mm-hmm. Who taught you how to do this? My mum. Okay, does she make them too? Yeah. Great. Awesome. One head, one body, what do we need next? Arms. Okay, so let's explain what's happening there. You've... Put it through. Through, you've folded it and put it back through again. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Like that. Copper wire is really easy to shape, isn't it? Yeah. But if you shape it, then it's really hard to make it straight again. Oh, okay. All right. So you've got an extra bit there. Oh, that just... Wraps around as well? Yeah, and it also secures the arm. Oh, good idea. You don't want your arm slipping, do you? Falling off. <laughs> Drag it on the ground. <laughs> Once again, just wrap around the, the body. Yeah. Wonderful. The next one goes in through the, for the legs. Mm -hmm. you, you do the same thing that you did with the arms, but you make it slightly longer. Sure. Because my legs are longer than my arms. Uh, fair enough. And you could shape the legs or the arms to be doing anything, couldn't you? Yeah. Ollie, what are you going to do with all these people once you finish with them? Well, my mum's ones are on the tree, so I might put these ones on the tree as well, outside. She's got, she's got them in the tree? Yeah. Oh, they're... cool. Well, let's check out this family. That is awesome, Ollie. So easy to make. Well done. High five, buddy. Great. And I'll put some other ideas of what you can do with silver wire. Find out all the details below. We'll put lots of information on our website, so there'll be a link in the comments below. If you like what you see, let us know. I'm sure Ollie would love to hear from you. If you've got some ideas of things that you'd like to make, maybe you could put those in the comments below as well. Have you as a guest on the chair here? That'd be pretty cool too. Ollie, thank you for joining us. Okay, just in case you missed what Ollie did, I'll, I'll do it again, a couple of pieces for you, just to be on the safe side. So to make the head, you got it about in half, the way Ollie did. You wrap your wire around like that, and then you just simply twist it. And twist it. And twist it round and round like this. Now Ollie was saying you don't have to be too fussy, but you get it about the length of the body that's shaped that you want, and you bend it back and twist it back this way, round and around. Now the end of the wire can be quite sharp. 
So you just make sure it is hidden away like that. And then do the same with this other piece. Bend it back and twist it round. Great. Nice and simple. Now the next part, I need an extra piece of wire. So what I'm going to do is show you how to cut it. This wire is really flexible and you could probably just bend it backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and it'll break that way. Or you can use a pair of pliers like Ollie did and you just take it right to the back here where the cutting blade is and squeeze hard. Oh, you might have to bend it or wiggle it like I did and then it cuts through really easily. We'll make this the arms and it goes through the top, he was saying, just through like that, just find a space where it can sit. Choose the length of your arm, maybe about that length, and then push the wire back through so it pokes out the other side again. You need a wee bit because that's going to help you secure it, he was saying. And you secure it by wrapping that top bit with the extra bit of wire, the bit on the end. That'll stop the arm from going backwards and forwards and sliding all over the place. See? One arm, and the same with this one. Try and get it about the same length. And the extra wire, you twist it round. You do that for the legs as well. Great. And once you're all finished, of course, you can just have your wire person do whatever you want them to do. Scratch their head, put their hands on their hips, sing, I'm a little teapot, maybe. <laughs> just like that. Nice and easy. Remember, if you enjoy this Susie and Friends video clip, you can like us, you can subscribe to us, and you're more than welcome to share us with everyone you know. <laughs> we'll have another clip for you next week. Until then, have a fabulous week, and if you want more information, head to www.susie.co.nz. See ya.